Okay, well, what I'm going to do today is I've had lots of uh, questions and comments about the type of fence we're using to keep our goats in, you know, how we set it up, all that kind of stuff. And so I had a little bit of time uh, to maybe do just a short stretch and just kind of show you what we used, how we did it, and then talk a little bit about why we used what we used. And this particular wire is uh, it's by Stay Tough, uh, I believe. It says Goat Tough, so I'm guessing that's Stay Tough or Stay Tight or I don't know. <laughs> But I know where to get it and I know to get the same stuff every time. Now there is a wire, uh, Farm Fence Solutions I think is the outfit on the internet. Uh, I think they, they carry it, it's tornado wire. It's, this, it's the same type of stuff. It's a, and you can see by that number right there, it is a 13, 48, 12, 660 feet long. And what that means, it's got 13, horizontal wires it's 48 inches tall and it's 12 foot wide in the squares so as you get down lower the squares will get closer together where there are two inch spacing but as you get higher they get wider or when you get to the top there may be six inch spacing but it is all high high tensile fixed knot wire and it is by far the best as far as animals you know bending it and moving the moving the the nodes or the junctions where they've tied stuff together that fixed knot you cannot beat it uh, it is by far the best so i'll go ahead and zoom out and give you a little bit of that it's not cheap uh, but it's it's worth it in the long run this stuff lasts forever uh, provided they manufactured it correctly and didn't do something wrong but it's it's really really good stuff so this is a 660 foot roll We'll tie it off to a brace over there, and then we'll start spooling it out, and I'll try to show all that, uh, the process that we go through uh, while doing that. Okay, so we're wanting to cut this uh, vertical wire out so we have a nice clean wire that we can work with when we come around this uh, brace to tie it off, or at least to start our tie off on this end, and then we're going to stretch to the other end. Uh, so what I'm going to show is is how to cut these things out and and be left with a nice clean wire so that's what i'll do now i'll try and get the camera a little closer zoom in a little bit where you can kind of see that a little bit better and uh, we'll go from there okay so it's been a while since i've done this but i think i can potentially remember how to do it these cutters are critical these are uh, nipix cutters uh, k-n-i-p-e-x Awesome cutters for this high tensile wire. Anyway, you want to cut this vertical line, not this one. And so I'm going to cut it right in there. And it'll pull out. So you're going to do that. You're going to do that all the way down. That. I don't know if I'm blocking the light or not. I'll try and get a little bit there. We can see this right here. See where I'm cutting at? Go down through here and do every one of them. Okay, so now that you have that done, I like using uh, pliers to do this next part. If I can have them, they may be in my bucket. Hang on just a minute. Yep, there they are. Okay, so now you just want to pull these things off, and you can kind of see how they're wrapped. They're kind of a uh, uh, fixed knot is what they call that. So what you have to do is you got to bend this thing back this way 
and then push that one the opposite way and it'll loosen up these wraps and then you can slide them off the end if it works right. Sometimes it's not as easy as it sounds. It doesn't help that it's high tensile wire. It makes it harder to work with, but it sure does hold up better than like the, uh, uh, the field fence type of wire. Anyway, I'll see if I can show one of these here. So I've got it on that deal right there and I'm gonna bend it this way and that way, like that. And it loosened it up, you can see. And you just work it, work it off the end. Sometimes you'll hit a little, an end where you gotta work it a little bit, but then it comes right off. Okay, so I'm gonna just keep going with this. If you get it on the video, that's good. If not, you saw what one was like. I like to try and throw them in the bucket while I'm doing it. That saves me from having to pick them up later. Of course, I miss half of them anyway. So I gotta end up picking them up anyway. Sometimes you'll get a little L in it. This is where I bent the wire to hold it on the spool. So you're better off just kind of trying to straighten that before you start trying to run it off. And it helps. Okay, got all those done. Now you can see we got enough wire to go around this post. It should be, hopefully. Do a little test run. Yep. Notice we didn't need enough to wrap it, but I'll show you what we're going to do with that. Okay, this next step, I'm going to use these things by Gripple. And uh, see if you can see those. They'll slide on the end of this thing, and then you can connect them to this wire. And some people will be saying, well, why don't I just wire it? And, and there's lots of guys that do that. I've, I've built lots of fence like this, and by the time you're done wrapping all those, at least me, especially when you get down to the bottom where the spacing is uh, two inches or so, it's extremely difficult and it's extremely hard on your hands. And it gets, it gets just real difficult. And so the time you save on these little things that are by Gripple, and I don't have a stock in Gripple or anything like that, but I just, these things save so much time that it's by far worth it uh, to use these. The hardest part about these things is that when you have a bend in your wire, like one of these uh, uh, tension, tension, angles right here like you can see you can maybe see a little bit here hopefully you can see a, a little bit of an angle right here uh, you can definitely see it right there that's a tension uh, tension gap and as we get it tighter those things will shrink and that'll let us know if we got enough tension on it but what that does when you're sliding these on these things when you hit that it causes a problem it won't slide past it so you want to determine, if you can, about where these things are going to go on. So if I can slide this on and slide it on to that point and not get to that tension, I'm good. I'll still need to cut these ends off because if you notice, something I learned is all of these, these ends below the top one and above the bottom wire. So all the wires below this top wire. So you know, this one, this one, this one, they all have the extension, uh, uh, I'm sorry, the, the tension um, 
knots or the, the tension angles in the, in the same spot. You can line them up vertically as you go down through there. Now this top one is different. So if you try to measure about where you're going to put these on with respect to what you're going to have to cut off or straighten, uh, it'll mess you up if you, go off, if you go off this top one. So just ignore this top one. Do the first wire below the top one first and get an idea of where you need to be. And then you can go down through there and, and cut or bend whatever you need to bend to make it work. Uh, so that's how we're gonna, we're gonna try to do this one. I'm gonna bring this up right there. I'm gonna get me an idea on height. Let me grab my cutters. I know, I know I'll need those. Give me an idea on height here. Okay, so that wire, that top wire, is going to need to go right above this, this pipe. That'll give me an inch or so off the ground, which for the dogs, I don't know that's going to matter. Doesn't matter how much you have off the ground. So what I'm probably going to try to do is try to line it up. Uh, i got to either go above or below. Uh, man, I'll probably on this brace go below. Uh, so I'm going to cut this tip. I'm going to cut this tip off that's got the angle right here so I don't have that problem. Now I'm going to remeasure kind of about where we were going here. I'm going to go a little bit, little bit lower. So I'm going to want this thing to come out, you know, somewhere right in there. So I got it right about there, and so you'll just slide this baby on like that, and then you'll run it back, and then it twists on like that. So you notice I'm, I did it right here at the edge of this thing, and that's really just to give me a line as far as how far to do it. So when it stretches, they'll all be the same as long as I do all of these the same, where it's it's on this line, and I push about the same amount of wire through. That's why I said you want to you want to look at all these down below the top one on where you're going to cut them, because you're going to cut them in about the same spot. That way, all this will be the same, and it'll have the same tension on every on every deal. So I will go down through here and start cutting these, and then we'll start putting the deals on. A lot of times I'll put these on on the other before I put them in place and it just kind of makes them easier as far as getting the same length of wire through it. Like so. I'd like to show you wiring it once, just to show you how difficult it is, especially starting off. I mean, some of those guys can show you that knot, and it looks real easy, but as far as making everything even, the wires and the right tension when you get it tight, and it just is not as, as neat. Ah. Okay, so that's something good right there. You see how I got too much on that? I don't know if you can see that or not. You can see that wire right there. I got too much wire there. So these, these things have a little release that you can put in there to release that thing and change it. So I've got to find that. Okay, I found it right here. Comes with your stuff when you get them. If you get enough, I guess, I don't know. Uh, if you don't, if, you need to get one because <laughs> you will at some point need to pull one off. So it just, it just pushes in there and then this thing will just slide right off. So that's kind of a handy little deal too. If you do ever need to go back and put more tension on it, 
or unwire it for some reason, you could do that and uh, not lose, you know, kind of what you got going, which would be good too. You see how these are nice and loose at the beginning. Before we tighten it, we can actually raise it and lower it a little bit if we need to. That's good because sometimes you make a mistake. Okay, so you can see this top one. You can see how it has more wire sticking out uh, than the other one. And that's why I say you don't want to do the top one first because it'll mess you up when you're trying to get an idea of what you need to do on the lower ones. All the rest of these are almost exactly the same, uh, except for the bottom one, and the bottom was the same way. It's got a lot sticking out like this. That's why I waited and did it. Uh, it's just kind of an eyeball thing on the top and the bottom. So I think we're ready to uh, start rolling the wire out, and then we'll be ready to stretch. <laughs>